Welcome to the Just Bake channel. This is the channel where we do things and say stuff. Lil Mattress here to wrap up week one of the Ultimate Madness 3 tournament. The first battle I'm going to review is the first battle that went down in this tournament, Ultimate Madness 3, Drugs versus Yoshi G. I got a couple notes here. I'm going to go over a couple of bars, things of that nature, and uh, let's get to it. So round one, Yoshi G starts it off. She goes first. Um... To me, you could see the nerves. You could see that she was definitely nervous. This is a big moment for anybody. Like we said, 100K on the line. That is what it is. Um, Yoshi G's first round, I would say that she has to work on her delivery a little bit more. Uh, but once again, could be nerves, could be things of that nature. She addressed her promiscuous ways, if you will. Um, and the train rumors, having a train ran on her by the Goonies, all that other things. And one of the interesting parts of that is she tried to do, you know, kind of the what's known as the eight mile thing. If I say it first, I can take the power away from, you know, the other uh, opponent. But spoiler alert, drugs didn't talk about it at all. He definitely talked about how promiscuous she was and um, sucking and fucking was mentioned a whole bunch. But he didn't talk about that at all. So that is interesting when people take that. Um that tactic and go for, Hey, I'm going to say it first. So it takes all the power away. And then the other opponent doesn't even mention it at all. So that was interesting. Yoshi G's whole thing is that she's, you know, thought bars and she's a thought, but she's proud of it. But if you're proud of it, then you probably wouldn't have the mental war that's going on in her, but for another day, um, her best line of the first round for me was fuck you. Fuck Goonies as a crew. Chico Beasley smack for 100k. I will fuck you too. That was funny. Um, she talks about being a thought often, and it, it gets kind of sad, but that line was really, really funny. Just because it was the delivery, the way that she said it, the way with the nonchalant nature that she put it, but it is what it is. Drugs round one. Wow. Came out crazy. Uh after I drop around on this chick, y'all gonna say I dog walked her. The collar, circle, round, dog walk, you know. Yeah, man, drugs. I, he was super quiet in the face off. And I think probably because he was just like, yeah, this, what I'm gonna do, I don't even need to talk about. Let's go. Drugs said, um, to the effect of, you gotta rap with me, so call it quits, because you don't got one quotable that don't involve a dick. One of the interesting things about the first round is Drugs rapped a lot about how all she does is rap about her pussy, but then that's all he rapped about. But I get it too, because if that's all that she raps about, then that's kind of all that he can rap about if it's a you know personal battle like that going back and forth. So it's, it's a tough thing to get around. Um, drugs, first round, 38 in the box. Let's see what's so special about it. Double entendres. Also, if I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking about it, but if you've seen The Devil's Rejects and, you know, hope it doesn't rust the barrel, put it that way. To me, easily drugs had round one. Like I said, Yoshi seemed nervous, but she seemed nervous and it's just simple. Her round wasn't as good as drugs. Round two, Yoshi, drug flips galore. There were so many drug flips, drug flips, drug flips. Yoshi's hottest line of this round was probably, you know, the I'm paraphrasing, but your friends gas you be, you won, it's in your head like Cassidy, because if you're a battle rap fan, you understand Cassidy has won every single battle in his own head. So that was a pretty dope line. Um, I could put facts with caps like Snapple T. That was straight to the unfortunate thing about battling drugs is he has the name drugs. So people go OD with the drug flips and, uh, I'm not going to hold you drugs. Nancy Reagan said it best, say no to drugs, which is a horrible bar. Like, Nancy Reagan, just say no to it. I get it, but... Mm -mm. But one of the new things, I guess, is everybody saying, I'm not going to hold you, which, unfortunately, it's one of those things, like when Big Pun is rapping, if you accidentally hear him breathing, you can't unhear it. So now, in the hip-hop community, every I'm not going to hold you, but... Every it's it's the new sheesh. It's the new at the end of the day, and uh, we're stuck with it. So we'll deal with that until that becomes not cool anymore. Actually, let me make an amendment. The hottest bar that Yoshi spit was in the second round, and it was her entire 
uh, Bobby Brown New Edition scheme, which was super serious. That's that's that type of shit where um, if she had three, four more of those in the battle, things might have went a different way. We want that old Yoshi No New Edition. Now, how that sound? Mad because I'm humping around. If it's my prerogative, why every step I take, they try knocking me down. I lost everyone in my life to drugs like Bobby Brown, which is... And she's lucky where her battle was in the night because she wasn't the only one to say that. Casey um, ended up saying that later. But that line was, you know, if there's a crowd, that's a room rocker, you know. So she did her thing. But if you were to give her a round, it would have been that round because of that bar. Because that might have been, I can't say the hottest round, uh, the hottest bar of the battle, but that was definitely the hottest bar of that round. Uh, drugs, round two. Thought bars, you should be ashamed of what your daughter is going to see when she grows up. That Basically, that's that's the whole drug second round was a lot about trying to make her think, yeah, you're proud of being a thought, but you have a child. So when they see this, you know, really what's going down, uh, it's not going to be a good thing. Drugs in the second round with the bar about why not teach your daughter about birth control because that's how you break the cycle. Whole multiple meanings to that. That was a hotline. Also, drugs was really speaking to her in the whole paraphrasing, you're in your mid-30s acting like a clown, don't give a fuck what people say. 99% of people want to settle down. It's cool to rap about, ah, I'm out here doing my thing, blah, 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 living free, living life. But, you know, a lot of people want to settle down. So it was really speaking to her. If in this round, in excuse me, if in this battle I was ever going to give a round to Yoshi G., it would have been the second round. She did her thing, but so did Drugs. It was, it was pretty clear that Drugs was the more seasoned and uh, the more prepared. But if I was ever going to give anything to her, it would have been the second round. Third round. Like I said, for me, battle rap. The third round is when the third rounds are usually the least interesting to me because. How it goes in battle rap is the third round is when people get serious and the third round is when people get in, um, my life was this hard, let me explain it to you, which just me personally doesn't affect me and it doesn't hit me like it hits some other people. Uh, I understand it is what it is, this is battle rap culture right now, but for me, it just doesn't do much, but they both had some bars in here. Yoshi G starts out with bars about almost picking up where drugs left off about trying to break the cycle and how hard it is where her mom hates her because she looks like her father and reminds her of her father. And, uh, that, you know, there was some pretty deep shit in there. She goes on to talk about how um, drugs baby's mother is keeping the child away and how she respects drugs for, you know, they, they got really personal in this battle, it's how she respects drugs for really trying to go and get custody of uh, his child. And Yoshi had a hotline in there about don't give up drugs. I know that's an oxymoronic way to soothe you through. So if this gives you any comfort, I guarantee she'll bring your daughter to the funeral. Pretty aggressive thing to say. You know, she she was hitting. But like I said, man, the, the entire overall, it just, it, there, there were different classes in this battle of uh, preparation, of being able to deliver things the way that they were able to deliver things. Drugs in his third round. Um, once again, man, these are the rounds where, to me, I just, it doesn't hit me like it hits other people, but Drugs' third round is all about his life and how he doesn't have, uh, how he hasn't seen his daughter in a year, and how this tournament that the grand prize is $100,000 and what he wants to use that $100,000 for is to see his daughter again, to pay off the lawyers, things, uh, things of that nature. But he had some hot bars with it. Like I said, for, for me in general, eh, it doesn't hit me like that, but he had some hot bars with it. Don't play with me because hugging my daughter means much more than 100K to me. Drugs also had a Bitcoin bar that was out of control, if you know about Bitcoin. And he compared early investors in Bitcoin giving away Bitcoin because they didn't know its worth to you know, Yoshi G not knowing the worth of her body and the worth. So that shit was fire right there. You don't know your own worth. It's broad as day. She's like early Bitcoin investors because she ain't know what she had had value. Now she's mad because she gave it all away. So a little bit of thought regret, if you will. Drugs in the third round, unfortunately, 
his hottest bar, in my opinion, of the entire battle, he stumbled on. And it was a it was a stumble slash it was a if if you're gonna call it a choke, it was a mini choke. Like he had to take like, you know, five seconds to get himself back. But he had the lines talking about how she was traveling for battle rap dick and yo, know, homeless sexual was probably, you know, something that people are going to say from now on you put yourself through so much shit for battle rap dick one day even found myself helping you remember you flew (laughs) remember you flew all the way to atlanta with nowhere to stay dumbass and a brother curved you that's unacceptable if it wasn't for me you would have been sleeping in a hotel lobby couch because you ain't have no revenue you flew your horny ass all the way there with nowhere to stay you a homeless sexual Room rocker. Like I say, if there was an audience, that shit would have brought the house down. That was a dope-ass bar. And then, once again, talking to her soul. (sighs) You need to put that whole shit to rest because there isn't a dick in this world that can fill the hole your father left. Like, bro. Talking to her. You know what I mean? And that's some... There were even parts I give Yoshi credit because she, for even for a couple bars... I like when people aren't too hard. She was even saying for a couple of things like, oh, I like that. I like that. That was dope. You know, she could at least um, recognize, you know, what what was happening in the moment. Drugs also had to do the worst line of the battle as well. Um, Yoshi, if anybody, knows, you know, video games, Yoshi, Mario, you got to learn from the game, Yoshi. People only going to ride with you till they get to the princess, which that was a horrible, horrible, horrible bar. Even though Drugs won this battle clear, in my opinion, uh, he had the best and worst battle, uh, excuse me, he had the best and worst um, bars of the battle. Also, he's the only one, Drugs had the only mini, mini choke in there, which was interesting. So I give Drugs all the credit in the world. He easily won this battle. Like there was no question of a winner or a loser, but I will say he will have to tighten up for round two for whoever he faces in that round. But regardless, this was an entertaining battle. Shit is what it is. Shit was what it was. This is a Just Bake channel where we do things and say stuff. Leave a comment down below. Tell me who you thought won and uh, thought bar something you got to deal with. The, 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 the battle was dope, man. I can't, can't front on it. Just